one, I wanted to do a video for my proof for Navier Stokes smoothness. So, this is one of the seven millennium prize problems, and this will be the third one uh, that's solved in total, and the second one that I solved. So, I'll post a link to the paper in the description, as well as a link to the problem and the Wikipedia page. But essentially, all Navier Stokes is trying to set out to prove is that fluid fundamentally flows smoothly. So, quick introduction. And then the problem statement. So, this is as close as I could get to describing the problem set out by the Clay Math Institute, which mathematically describes the Navier Stokes equations. And the problem statement calls for a proof of one of four statements. Uh, we chose the, the first one in solving uh, the problem offering our proof. So I started by defining what we were going to prove. So again, this is our problem. This is our solution, what we're going to prove. And then getting from A to B really is the hard part. So to get from A to B, I started off by describing flow classically to the best of my knowledge and what I could find in terms of human knowledge. Um, so the best work that I found on a classic flow was Lorena Barbara's paper on the 12 steps to Navier Stokes. And she did a lot of really great uh, work in simulations using Python. So I recreated those experiments and uh, did a little twist on the models that she introduced. So we're citing her for the image, even though it's not an exact replica of what she did. Um, but then we also looked at uh, Richard Feynman's paper on uh, the principles of least actions in quantum mechanics to look at what he found in 1942 to be the edge in flow, classic flow. And so we're looking at Feynman integral systems um, and that set the limits, right? So like that's why we think that flow is not fundamentally smooth, right? There's classical systems and classically our systems are made up of particles and those particles are, are rigid. So we wanted to find a way to get a little bit deeper. So I described the flow matrix or the system as a matrix, both continuous and discrete using deep learning and deep reinforcement learning models to make predictions about the edges to sort of formalize the matrix in the context of fluid flow, I looked to Lisa Olet's paper on um, carbon nanotubes and sensing flow for very small uh, quantities. And she did some really amazing work in that arena in her PhD thesis while she was at Cornell. Lisa Ouellette is amazing. You should definitely check out her work and I will post her PhD thesis in the link as well. Um, but her thesis set out the flow dynamics without really reference to fundamentally describing the smoothness because it wasn't necessary for her work. So what I did was I integrated a deep Boltzmann machine or within her uh, her system so we were able to statistically predict the edges for any classical system with deep learning and that could sort of be modeled as either a wave function or particle so we can say that in essence this may be the solution to Navier Snoke smoothness that we've described but it's still a probabilistic wave function if we're going to fundamentally prove flow is smooth then we need a quantum system so the final element to the proof is describing the flow matrix using quantum mechanics. So fundamentally, all 
matter, all energy, everything is smooth. We started by describing our system using a Hamiltonian measurement function, and that simply transforms the classical state space into a quantum energy function. And then finally, we simply used a quantum oscillator to describe the flow for both uh, discrete systems and for dynamic or continuous systems. Thus, flow is fundamentally smooth. Um, you can check the references as well. Um, thank you for watching. Post your comments. Uh, and I will get to as many as I can. Uh, also post your hate. Love the haters. Make them better. Um, thanks again for watching and talk to you again soon. Have a great day.